and welcome to Real Talk, the Valenti Valentine's edition live from University of Salford's Media City UK campus, where we'll be taking a sip from the hot gossip of this week's entertainment news. Coming up, we'll take a look at what your favourite stars are doing this Valentine's, our celeb favourite celeb couples, and we'll ask later ask questions that need answers. But first, let's meet our panel. Hi, I'm Journey from York. I'm Luke from Wigan. Hi, I'm Nicole from Ludlow. And I'm Molly from Manchester. Let's have a quick look at who's booed up and dive straight into the papers. It's Hot Pages. So today I took a look at a small article in Closer magazine of our reality queen Gemma Collins. The GC is wearing a wedding dress, but unfortunately it's just all for her new show and she's not actually engaged. Panel, do we want Gemma to find love? And do we want her to find it with Arge or someone better? What do we think? Of course she should find love. She's Gemma yeah. Collins. She's awesome. She, oh. she, the GC. Yeah. Everyone yeah. deserves to exactly. find love. Exactly, everyone does deserve to find why love. Why do you think, I mean, she's a lot to handle, isn't she? So mm. why do we actually really think that she's not found love? Mm. Um, I guess she, uh, I'm well. not, I, what, like, why did she and Arge split? I'm not like too certain on no, that. No, yeah. What's what? So does anyone know the situation with that? I, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. I think um, she, Gemma's a really headstrong female, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, she's got a lot yeah, to say about everything. <laughs> so yeah. for somebody to kind of like couple up with her, they're gonna have to be yeah, really sound in themselves. They're gonna need to be quite similar, really. Exactly. Yeah, they? exactly. Yeah. So that's probably why. Like, it's I don't kind think of, I could get with a way too different. People, <laughs> no, yeah. Like, yeah, no. no, she says herself, she's she's the queen of diviness yeah. and she'll need... It'll it's take the JC, a do you know what I mean? Man. Like, the yeah. 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 It's the JC. I don't yeah. know, maybe they'll get back together though, who knows? Maybe, I mean, she, how old is she now, 39? Is that what I said, 39? Yeah, she, yeah she, 39. She, she deserves to be happy. She looks yeah. really absolutely. good there. Yeah, I was going to say for 39, I can't believe she's 39. No, like, she does not look 39, I wouldn't have thought, no. I thought she'd be in a place. I didn't know she was 39, actually. And that wedding dress is really nice. So. Yeah, yeah. That really I do want her to find someone course, now. She yeah. is really nice. She's so yeah. funny. Yeah, Plus, she really I imagine is. her wedding's going to be so dramatic. As oh, well. my God. Just saying, though, flying yeah. in a helicopter. It oh would be my. so oh amazing to see the pictures afterwards. <laughs> that, that's the main reason why we definitely need to find her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she doesn't fall down <laughs> the altar. Yeah, 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 exactly. You want it for the two. <laughs> so, what else have you been looking at, Luke? Um, so, oh. So I've also been looking at an issue between, oh, do you all remember the little bust-up between Ryan Thomas and Roxanne Pallet? Oh yeah. God, yeah. Oh my God, just take me back. <laughs> <laughs> we can forget. Well, Roxy has indeed found love. Who would have thought it? Um, she, she had a very small wedding with, a close, with her close families and friends. But the question I want to know is, do we think Roxanne Pallet deserves to be in a relationship after what happened? I actually can't believe that like yeah i can't believe, believe she's, she's still on tv in magazines. still in magazines oh, yeah i actually think she she was just i thought she would just be cancelled how long yeah, ago was it like the whole sort of scandal yeah. with them um, i think it was a couple of years ago yeah. yeah i was gonna say she really needs to do some like healing and stuff from that and kind Has of she, like, well, apparently got a better reputation or not is it still hmm. similar do we know apparently she had counseling and things hmm. like that but yeah. i don't know it was a really big sc scandal and a lot of people were really annoyed but i know um i think it was the guy that played Jason in Corrie, he actually said like he doesn't want anything bad. Yeah. Like she, he doesn't wish any bad on her. Yeah, yeah. Um, Ryan Thomas, I think his name was. Yeah. Um, he doesn't wish anything bad on her, and he actually like felt sorry for her more felt than anything. Sorry for it. I guess. Yeah. I guess the reason that she's probably doing that is, <laughs> I guess she's there must be a reason why she did that. Yeah, but, absolutely. Because yeah, you yeah. don't just do like make up such a bad lie and rumour for no reason. Like it's for the cameras, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's Big yeah. Brother. Yeah, so it, I think she's just doing it so nah. doing it to get her name out there. Yeah. Like obviously I like Gemma, I think she deserves a relationship, but mm. um she needs to work on herself first. Yeah. And one hundred percent. I don't think they should still be like spreading her name around do when we, she's trying to do, do that. Do we not know that she could have worked? Like, if you said that was two, two, three years ago, she might have. She might be a different mm. person now. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah, no one of us know her personally. Mm. She could be. She could be amazing. Do you oh. disagree? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, you disagree. <laughs> I don't know. I just think. I, I don't know. But mm. I just. Obviously, I would never wish bad on anyone, but yeah. I just think it was really bad, and I did feel yeah. really sorry for Ryan at the time. I mean, she carried. Yeah that scandal on for the whole time what, mm. what he was in Big Brother um, and they all believed in that that he'd actually mm. pushed her or whatever yeah. the allegation was um, 
but yeah. So. But how long would we have to wait um, for her to get back into a new relationship? Exactly, yeah. Like, it's what's going to be acceptable to people? Do you know what I mean? I yeah. think two years is plenty Everyone time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, You're right. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, that's all we have time for in Hot Pages today. And before we move on to what's trending this week on social media, we're going to play a little game of Love mm. Me or Love Me Not. I'm so excited for this. Um, <laughs> I love a good Same. game. <laughs> So as a panel, we all have a heart and a broken heart. We're going to be shown a couple of celeb relationships and we need to decide whether it's love or a hot mess. Just to note, we haven't seen any of these couples, so it should be really interesting. Um, let's take a look at the first one. Who do we have? Oh, oh. I, I, yeah. yeah. Mm. It's a big love from me. Yeah. No, I've got to disagree. Definitely love. Why? 100% no, love. Why are you disagreeing? I'll be honest, I don't really know I'm not into rap that much, so I couldn't really tell who this person is, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Um, but they just seem dead different. Like, I presume that's a Kardashian. Is it? That's yeah. Kylie. Yeah. They just, I don't know, she just seems like a mod. Like, it's not obvious, I don't know. I just, they just seem different. Is it, the, have you heard any rumours about cheating scandals yeah, or anything I've, like that? What, has it, has it just been cheating? Yeah, yeah. yeah. there has Thomas been rumours like alleged. cheating on Kylie. Oh, yeah. um, no, yeah. then. That makes it a bit worse for me. I mm. still stand them, personally. I think they work really well together. They've got a little Stormy now who's yeah, so exactly. good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How long were they together? And they're really relaxed and, like, chill people. Yeah, I hope they, they, they still, they're still still friends, so maybe there's a chance. I hope they get back together. Mm. Um, next one, um, we'll have a look at. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm. Uh, so, Rob, Rob Kardashian... Uh, Rob Kardashian no. and Black China. Very, right. very, very toxic relationship. Yeah, I watched this all play out on TV yeah. and yeah, it was horrible. It seems like they've both got um, their own personal issues that really got yeah. involved with the relationship themselves. And I know it's like really cliche to say, but like you do have to love yourself first before you yeah. enter a relationship. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Being with someone I if agree. you're not comfortable with your own mm. body. Because yeah, it's just not good and it's not healthy. No, no it's okay. not. Tony, you're absolutely preaching, but I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> it's not fair to like put all your problems on someone else. No, Do you exactly. know what? I felt really uncomfortable watching like, I think they were in a few. It of, was. They had their own bad. show, didn't they, actually? Yeah, yeah they did. I like felt a really off watching that like mm. I, I felt really sorry for him and mm. felt sorry for him for yeah. him yeah because yeah, she's quite again she's quite a headstrong female and yeah she's quite aggressive they all are. <laughs> well, like. oh no um yeah let's move on to the next one anyway okay so Aww. we have mariah carey and mick coming oh I thought they were quite Mick. cute together. Yeah. Yeah. They've I got the, um, is it like Monroe and... Yeah, I'm going to go with Love. Yeah, I'm going with Love. Sorry, admittedly, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's... Um, they're not Mick together, coming. by the way. Oh, no, right, okay. I don't... I don't... I, didn't, I, think they, I do think they'll look good yeah, together. Yeah, they'll make... They'll make they'll look, look and they've got kids together, so... Yeah, they've got... Oh, they've got Rocco and something like that. Yeah, I think so. I think a kid makes it possible. I just think they look good together. That's Yeah, that's what I thought. They, they look like they'd make that a good runway. They're both smiley. Yeah. They're both smiley. <laughs> they're both smiley. <laughs> Why not? They're both in showbiz as well. Like, they're both perfect. Yeah. No. She's a singer. I think they're <laughs> But I don't know. If they've not had kids, why has it not worked out? I, I don't yeah. know. True. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can't lie. But she's gorgeous. He's good looking. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. I stand it. They're both smiling. <laughs> Moving oh on. <laughs> Next one. Oh, oh yeah, the Osborne, big fat, the big OGs. Fat love. I love these two. Sharon. Oh. <laughs> yeah. They're amazing. Yeah. Okay, so too. there has been Absolutely alleged icons. cheating and oh, abuse oh. for that reason. Are you serious? There's been alleged cheating. Oh, from yeah. which side? Yeah, with who? From which side? Yeah. Um, which side? Ozzy's? Really? Oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, that's not good. It, he's come out that he's got, got um, alleged. Hmm. I don't know what condition he's got, but he's recently um, announced. I think it's Parkinson's. Yeah, he's, he's got, got Parkinson's. Yeah. What's Parkinson's? Is that the bone? Like the bone? No. Uh, no. It's, it's like another sort of like mind yeah. disease, oh. I think. Yeah. It's like sort of like dementia, I think. Yeah. And that's not an excuse, though, really, is it? No, mm. obviously not. <laughs> obviously. But still. I mean, I love great. Sharon. From that aspect, yeah. I love yeah. Sharon, but I don't really know too much about him, so I can only go off what they I've heard. They used to have like a reality but, yeah, TV show yeah, yeah, a while like, ago, and they were awesome in it. Yeah, I love Sorry them too. It's all right. <laughs> Next one. Sorry, we're going to move on. 
Okay. Oh, I'm so upset with this. <gasps> oh no, yeah. Right. Were they together and then they got then Yeah, they, they got married. They got back together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they were oh, together, they... then they broke up, then they got together, got married, and now they've split up again. Wow. And she's with, um, was it Cody since? I, I think so, yeah. yeah. She's been... He's oh. so sweet, though. I don't know too much about them. I can't read this side. Is that I'm, Liam I'm, I'm giving it a love. That's Liam. Liam. Oh, okay, no, so are you so loving I'm giving it a love. I'm going to put a book. Well. I'm, yeah. I'm really mm -hmm. upset that they what split up. Joni Y. They keep on like breaking up, don't they? And it's constant like back and forth yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And um, Miley just seems a bit more kind of out there than, is it? She's, Liam, yeah. she's kind of reeled yeah. it in a bit though recently. I yeah. feel like so at least. Yeah, definitely. Well, I don't know. Like I would have never have thought to put them two together if I was like a matchmaker. Just yeah. In terms of think, what I've seen of them individually. But. I think like their public appearances, they've proved that they are a good couple. It's just a shame mm -hmm. that they've had to try like redo it all the time and like mm. get back together yeah something not right no yeah. um but yeah moving on next one oh, oh yes yeah, love <laughs> queen, queen of twitter literally <laughs> and legend are we loving or are we i'm loving not straight I, in. Love I love oh, um one. their story well a bit of their story um <laughs> Chris, uh, John tried to break up with Chrissy and she just said no. No. <laughs> and, 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 and they were sitting together. Me. I love it. That would would you say the other thing with something like that is though, would your relationship be able to stay the same if you knew that one person wanted to break up with it? Appara uh, apparently so. Absolutely not. Sorry, like you're if out. Your, your boyfriend was like, oh, I want to break up with you and you're like, no. Would it, you be comfortable staying with them? It wouldn't be the same, but it's something I feel like you could sort of build back up after a long time. No after chance. Time, I'm yeah. the one. Are you joking? I'd be like, no chance, literally. <laughs> did anyone see? Apparently they got half naked at the Kardashians' house. Oh, wow. really wow. Did anybody see that? Yeah. I, I think oh. I've heard something like that, actually. Yeah. Very wow. bizarre. <laughs> John had his trousers down, apparently, <laughs> and they were in one of the bedrooms. Wow. So, well, yeah, that's so nice. That one's the imagination. He, uh, <laughs> having a bit of fun while the kids are in. <laughs> <laughs> What happens at the right, Kardashians stays at the Kardashians. Oh, oh she has oh. hair. Oh. Brad Pitt and I didn't Jennifer Hudson. Are we I not did. loving or not? No worries. I've not heard yeah. a lot, but I've heard it's not good for them to get back together. Mm. They were together and they broke up. Yeah. Right, yeah. So I'm not, I'm going to give that a broken heart. They seem like... I like the look of them. Yeah, I like the look of yeah. them. Yeah. I think they work together. I'm 50-50, I don't know. Yeah. Mm. It's like a weird like love triangle between um I don't like them two and then like <laughs> Angelina Jolie. But I'm not too sure what's happened. I feel like Angelina Jolie gets a bit kind of like demonised and stuff yeah. in the love triangle. Oh yeah, no. But yeah. um I don't know, I don't know what their personalities are like you see, so no. yeah. From appearances I like I think they work together. Yeah, yeah. I, I appear together. appearance wise definitely. Yeah, yeah we're just doing yeah. it based on that now. Yeah. <laughs> you guys look cute together. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh I, love, yeah. big, I love big fat love. I didn't Trump. even know this love. was a thing, but I think definitely. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. They're really, they, really cute together. Are they back on now then? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, um, there was like an article and um, I think they were off for a bit, but I think um, now they've kind of sort of rekindled their love and they're going to just, you know, take it on from there and so on. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy like about I that because I, I love them both. Like, Jessie J, she's amazing. I think she's underrated. Yeah. Channing Tatum, yeah. I oh. think they're both quite like humble and they're quite, they work yeah. well in that yeah. way. Yeah. Oh, the pictures and of they're them they're really cool as so well. Cute. They can dance and yeah. like, do you know what I mean? They've got yeah. that whole vibe about they them. Just, so. They work. They can dance together. Yeah. They can <laughs> dance together. <laughs> Basically. Basically. I'm here for that, definitely. Okay, next one. Final one. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Me! Oh, it's <laughs> I you! I thought it was Ariana Grande. It was Alex and then look like you. Alex and the killer. I don't know. Oh, I mean, you guys look really cute. I, mean, I don't know you guys' is, like, personalities love enough. Him. So. Oh, it's you so guys look cute, cute together, though. Okay, <laughs> that is so funny. Oh, wow. You look so nice. Like, your makeup is so nice in that. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Wow. But yeah, no, Tiara, big love. Big up you. Okay. Well, let's hope your relationships are better than any of the celebs that we've seen. But let or as good as mine. But let's quickly have a look at what they're all doing this Valentine's. <coughs> how everyone is spending their valentines, especially our favourite celebs. We're going to give you a little inspo from the affordable options to the most extreme. 
you may have noticed that we've been drooling at what is in front of us. Mm -hmm. This yeah. bouquet yeah, of flowers, definitely. what do you think? It guys? smells yeah. unreal. I, oh yeah. it's, it's just such a great, so I love happy. the smell of strawberries anyway. Yeah, yeah. Well. strawberries and chocolate are my favourite. Can you smell the fruit? Well. I, I just love the appearance of it as well. Yeah. It, just, it just stands out it's really well. So no, that is so cute. It's got everything in it. Literally. What's it got in there? It's got little bottles of wine. Yeah. Oh, I just love it all matches as well, even the bottles of wine. Oh my God. Okay. So this is actually courtesy oh, of so at Freshly Got Sparkles on Instagram. Camera. Shout out yeah. them. This is just one way to treat your lucky lady today. Many celebs nice. have also posted oh. on social <laughs> with their Valentine's <laughs> gifts, and Kylie Jenner got a different take on bagels. Let's take a look. I love bagels. Oh Same. Yeah. Nice. yeah. I think they're that cinnamon and raisin, oh, so cinnamon and even raisin. better. I love how they do the little <laughs> cut, the little cut. It's, yeah. It looks, look, just looks perfectly like a heart. Just yeah. done it. Amazing. I could never do that. But I'm I saying there's that. not enough butter on it. There's no butter at all. Oh, no. Yeah. Where is the love? Where's the, butter? Where's the love? We yeah. need that butter. <laughs> yeah. I love a bit of butter. <laughs> Daisy O'Donnell, who is, Donald, sorry, who's an Instagram influencer with her lovely gifts as oh, well. Her man always, there. Tom's in it, he always goes all he out does, for her. He so does, he does. I'm yeah. here for that. Oh, she looks sweet. amazing. Those flowers look so good. They do. Yeah. I think I'd cry if I, I got some giant teddy bear to I got cuddle. that. It's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> so, do we think Valentine's is overrated? No. Like this Not tweet. So it says, Valentine's Day is the most overrated day of the year and I'm in a relationship. Imagine getting a £500 hotel room and paying £200 for a swanky dinner. When you can sit in your pyjamas on the sofa with your boyfriend with a huge Chinese for like £30 and a film on Netflix. I mean, I wouldn't complain at either. Yeah, me. neither. If you have the money, I definitely think it's... I definitely think you should go out, maybe. Yeah, well, not should go out, but you could, you could make yeah. an effort. It's nice to feel yeah. special for I, a day, isn't yeah. it? Like, it's nice to... I think on Valentine's Day, it's nice to stay in and then another day of the year go all out. Cause I guess so. Because otherwise you're going to be out with all the other couples and it's not going to feel so special. Mm. True, but then so at the same like time you can feel special. Yeah, yeah, I, I like do. looking over and being I'm like, oh, they're agree. having a nice you meal. You can feel and special like, you know. with everybody else, can't you? Yeah. It's yeah. nice. Definitely. Okay, moving on. The Kardashian mm. Jenners are known for receiving extravagant gifts. Oh my gosh. Unlike I'm myself. So I'm still waiting on mine. So but jealous. for now, all I can do is swoon over their luxurious life. God, do you reckon it smells amazing? Last year, Kylie Jenner got an array of roses. Oh my gosh. Can you do like a stormy in the storm? Yeah. Future boyfriend, um, like, learn. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <absolutely. laughs> so, guys, do we think acts like this are too over the top? Not at all. Um, no, I think it shows think? You, shows that you really care and appreciate the person. I mm. think um, it's a really, really lovely like gesture, but maybe it's a bit over the top with all the like. If it if was fake all about money, money, if you're a billionaire, yeah, I think you've got the money. Yeah, it's definitely. not over the top, but it's literally standard. So. I mean, would you, would any of you do this for any of your partners? I'd love to. If I yeah. had the money, yeah, I'd, or I'd, I'd like to, to have. That given to me. Yeah, even <laughs> my friends would just do <laughs> that. And I like selfies in the like middle of it. Keep all in my eyes out. Yeah. But moving on, um, Justin Bieber has been incredibly vocal these days on social media after his wedding. After his wedding, sorry, his new album Changes was released yesterday. But we can't help but being a little heartbroken now that he's off the market. Let's take a quick look at his love timeline. His first girlfriend was Caitlin Beadles in 2008. Look, so, look at his haircut as well. I know. Bringing back proper memories. Oh my gosh, look, look how so young he looks. Look at the yeah. face I know. Good skin. The famous scarf <laughs> as well. I know. Um, he then dated My World, his My World Tour partner, Jasmine Villegas, in 2010, between oh, January and September. takes me back. Yeah, I was about to say, it, like takes, so long ago. it takes me back to like, oh, you know, the really high school age. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Gorgeous. Um, and then in 2010 to 2012, oh, this is quite when he gets these two. Starts to get quite lengthy his relationship. Yeah. Um, so he got with Selena Gomez, and then they had an on and off relationship. Um, I still. Ship and then them. in November yeah. same, 2012, same. he was spotted on a date with Barbara Palvin. He looks so different from it's, the previous. It's got film. like yeah. the the ice gem quiff going on for mm. him, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. the pose like. He's been yeah. through so many phases, hasn't he? Yeah. I know. And then Bieber was actually arrested for a DUI while in the car totally with Chantel Jeffries. Yeah. Classic snapback. Um, yeah. <laughs> and not long after, this is the longest love timeline ever. Literally. I know. Um, in May of 2014, Bieber hooked up at a festival oh. with Adriana Lima. <laughs> and there was rumours that Bieber was allegedly with... Courtney Kardashian as well. Mm. Been around I, the block. I, d I don't believe that. <laughs> yeah. And then they're probably just friends. Yeah. 
Yeah, from the same celebrity same contacts. Yeah. The same time. So he yeah. finally yeah. met <laughs> with his now wife, Hayley Baldwin, in 2016, and they oh, romantically oh. linked up for around eight months. I, so I love that I think on the left. Um, yeah. so Bieber cute. briefly dated left, Sophia yeah. Ritchie in 2016 as well, before connecting oh, with heck, model but... Paula Paulin at I'm the really end of 2017. Heck, but it wasn't long before Bieber went back to his on and on girlfriend Gomez in 2017. But it was oh. Hayley Baldwin who stole his heart. There's, There's something there, there, you know. That's something there. Yeah. In June 2018, and now they're officially married. Panel, oh. do we think Hayley is one, the one, or do we prefer Selena? I know you two are Selena. fans of Selena. Yeah, I, although they do look good there, I must say. Yeah, she I looks think so she looks beautiful amazing. and elegant. Yeah. I, I love think they're both dress. really suited to each other. Well, as like while they're upset that he and Selena aren't together, yeah. I think that those two. They do seem like they work together. They, do, yeah. they look good as well together. Mm. But Selena and it's not was always a place in my heart. It, From it, the way we played back in the day. Yeah, <laughs> he's been really vocal about as well um, his love for Hayley because, yeah. like you said, a lot of people do love Selena and Justin together. But yeah. Yeah. he's set on her. He wants to set the record straight. So I'm glad. I'm glad he's doing that though. Yeah. Stand yeah. by your girl. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And clearly, it's worked out for them. They're both really in love. It's crazy that she was a fan before. I know. I, know. That's I, sweet, that. I think it's a bit weird because um, he released Yummy, and that's about her. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's just a little bit <laughs> weird hearing it. Yeah. Anyway, in other news, um, <laughs> dating show Take Me Out, oh. I'm really upset about this, yeah. has not been re renewed for the top season. Will we be missing the show, guys? Well, I yeah. personally, for one, will. Absolutely. Not too much, to be honest. Um, I love, like, first dates yeah. and shows oh, like that. I'm that much well. preferring yeah. that at the moment. It, do um, you think it's a bit dated, then? Um, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. dated. It, it is. It's been going forever. Yeah. I think it's dated, but like it's absolutely iconic. It's like yeah. no yeah. Yeah. I think Paddy makes it as well. Yeah. yeah. Paddy, absolutely. yeah. It's one of those shows that even though I don't watch regularly, when you just see it on TV, you're like, oh, I'll put it on. Just, yeah. Just for something to watch. You wait uh, to hear for his like one-liners. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Moving on. Sorry. Um. Now it's time for some cheeky s scenarios. Oh. It's question time. <laughs> <laughs> The first question is a little bit wild. So let's all pretend oh we have a partner, let's pretend. say. Pretend. Yeah. Pretend. <laughs> but our celebrity crush has declared their love for us. Oh. What would your oh. what would you do? And who is your celebrity crush? Uh, okay, let's oh. let's go from left to right. Okay. Um I'm sorry, but I'm dropping my partner. <laughs> <laughs> it's my celebrity crush. Who's your celebrity crush then? Um it's Danny Williams at the moment. Oh. Um, from Love, Love Island. Island. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did um, bump into him a while ago, but I didn't want to go up to him because I was about to get my <laughs> eyebrows done and I looked really, you really bad. I looked stunning, like, literally. Yeah. I don't think it really matters, What do you think about him in Love Island, though? Like, wasn't he you know, he was really controversial, controversial in Love Island. Um, yeah, I did think sometimes, whoa, Danny, like, what are you doing there? And, like, treat this girl with respect. But he's probably got, like, a character that he has to kind of, like, play up to and stuff on the show. But then there was rumours that he also cheated on Jordan after the show. Oh, what do you think about that? Gosh. Alleged. Alleged. <laughs> I mean, it's really, really not good to cheat, but I'm mean, there <laughs> and it happens. And... You change it. <laughs> yeah. I think if, if I hear that anyone's cheated, I just sort of like steer away. Cancelled. After, after my own personal experiences, I've yeah. like just learned to yeah. dodge yeah, that bullet. Uh, cheating's not right. Okay, it's Luke. Not right. What? No, you can't just. If you're single, perhaps. If it's just celebrity crush, you're single, yeah. But if you're with someone, especially if you're with someone, say, a year even, you don't just be like, no, bye. I'm I, such a, such I, think it here. I think it sort of depends. Like, you could be with someone for a year and not really love them all I guess that in that much. scenario, yeah. But if <laughs> yeah, you've been yeah. Such a Sorry, guys, That's gonna have to move on to the next question. Want to get through all of these? So, can friends with benefits work? And do those benefits include being taken out on Valentine's? I think it's like, there's a lot of situations. Yeah, it's yeah. difficult. Yeah. It is difficult. Like, depends, absolutely. Depends. I catch How feelings do you know, like, like I just can't do yeah. that sort of thing. Mm. Like I'll fall in love with you. It's Literally, just, it's just me, you know. I especially, think all or nothing, to be honest. Mm. Like, yeah. Especially going out for Valentine's Day. I think celebrating Valentine's Day with someone yeah. is quite. It's a big thing. It's yeah. a big thing. I yeah. think I think friends with benefits can work, but just the whole Valentine's thing it's it separate. takes it a step too I think it's far. A bit separate. Yeah, mm. definitely. Um, next question. Um. Is it possible to fall in love 
with two people at the same time. Ooh. Absolutely. Yes. Um, it's sad to say, but yeah, it's, it's true. really like, it's people, so difficult. People in relationships, I don't I don't know the exact terminology for it, where you can be married so like, in a relationship with multiple different like people. Like an open relationship. Yeah, I guess no, not even an open relationship, but where you're in an actual committed relationship with So people. like for example, Will Smith, everyone used to say you no, sorry. Yeah, Will Smith and Jada, mm. everybody said that Jada was with Will, but obviously she had like she loved in mm. the past. Well, mm. she was friends, but had yeah. a thing with um. Is it Tupac? Tupac. I think. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, yeah. I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, Tupac. Um, and everybody wanted them together, but mm. that's just an example. Moving, on, moving on anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, you've been asked on a date who pays for the bill. Oh, split it, split, it. split, split it. all the way. I, I would split. say at first, I'd want if I was going on a date with a lad, I'd want the lad to like pay just on like the first date. Like I'd obviously offered to pay, but I think on the first date, if you're gonna take me out then like you're going to take me mm. out and if I were to, were to ask you on a date I would take you out so yeah. I would you know expect to pay and all that yeah, no, I, um, I and then after that maybe like split it down the middle yeah. I disagree I just think it's conforming I would always to like offer. stereotypes I, I think mm, offering definitely yeah. smart but then if he's like yeah okay whatever I'll take him control I, I think you should definitely offer the way yeah, I, I mean, sort yeah. of do it Absolutely. I do it like you pay for one thing, I pay for the other. So it's like, you you buy one round of drinks, I'll buy the next. I mean, that's yeah, right. that's yeah. Just stuff like that. that I just nice, feel yeah. awkward, personally. Yeah. Like, I can't let somebody just pay for everything. Yeah, it's, it's, I feel wrong. Like, like, <laughs> I've been brought up to be like, no, no, no. It's like, got to be fair. We've got to... Yeah, sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, I don't know. If you're in a relationship, do you... Do you do you have to celebrate Valentine's? Do you no. have to pay for everything? Like, how does it work? How do you split it? I think once you've been in a relationship for a long period of time, for Valentine's Day, you don't have to do something because you already yeah. care. Because I'm sure you're celebrating things elsewhere. Along the way. Along the way, exactly. Mm -hmm. And and when you go out for meals and stuff, you should still split it, I think. But you'd yeah. still want to, like, show time. that you're putting in the effort, though, because there's, you know, on the opposite side, you could get too comfortable, couldn't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You kind of just yeah. expect that, oh, well, I'm with you now, so that's it, I'm not going to really You want to still show so. that you're personally yeah. care about it. Yeah, it's exactly. nice to be, like, surprised and... Yeah, well, you want to be appreciated, yeah, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You don't want to just be yeah. not thrown away and, you know, <laughs> and not <laughs> taking it out. <laughs> Definitely. So how are we all spending Valentine's? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm going watching Sonic the Hedgehog with my manager boss. So romantic. <laughs> oh, it's so romantic. It's very romantic indeed. How did that come about? <laughs> well, we were originally we were given tickets to watch a Valentine's Day drive in theatre, like of Pretty Woman or Little Woman. Oh, yeah, one yeah. Of the, one Pretty of Woman, yeah. Um, but it got cancelled. So now we're going watching Sonic instead, which will be very oh, lovely, very jealous. romantic. <laughs> Anyway, we've run out of time actually, so thank you to the panel today. Thank, thank you so you. much, thank you. Thank you. for watching. I hope you have a lovely Valentine's or Galentine's, whatever you decide to do. Um, so we'll see you next week for another episode of Real Talk and some more hot tea. <laughs> Bye. 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 We did it.